Hey you guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today what we are going to be working on is looking at some of the symbols that we see uh, on our commander, specifically with regard uh, to frequency tables. And this isn't only in frequency tables, uh, or on the frequencies tables from our commander, but you'll see these throughout frequency tables from basically whatever program or journal that you may be looking at. So let's go look at, let's do And specifically, we're talking about bins. All right, so the two major symbols that we're worried about with bins are brackets and parentheses. Let me erase that real quick. So a bracket simply means, means that we're going to include this value. And the parentheses means we're going to exclude it. Okay, so let me give you an example of what this would mean. So oftentimes we would see a bin like such, where we would have something like a bracket 5 comma 10 parentheses. Okay, so this bin would then contain any values from our survey that we're doing, maybe this is free throws or whatever, where we would include 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 all those numbers would be in this bin and we count them. 10 we wouldn't count because 10 would be included in the next bin. So oftentimes you'll see this like this. So we are going to include the lower end and we're going to exclude uh, the upper end. So if you can just remember include and exclude, you can basically make all sorts of combinations of these. So another combination that we could do is something like this where we could have a square bracket and a square bracket. This means we're including both the top and the lower. So this would be a closed interval. And you can also see something like this, where this would be called an open interval. So if we had 5 and 10 in here, that means we'd, if something was measured as 5 or 10, we both counted in here. If 5 and 10 were in both of these parentheses, then we would exclude both 5 and 10 from this, uh, this count. So it's just a little symbology that helps us understand what we're doing. And then we can also combine these just like this one. So this is a closed lower, open upper. We could also see something that looks like this, open lower, closed upper. So that's just some of the, like I said, once again, the, the symbolism. Let me write this down. This is open lower, closed upper. And this guy is going to be closed lower, and open upper. So when we're doing our frequency tables and we're building, we're working on our bin sizes, uh, these different brackets and parentheses will let us know exactly what is being included in the bin, what's being excluded in the bin. Uh, and if we can just remember this is include and exclude, you can figure out all of these other uh, possible combinations.